What is up guys, Marshall here and welcome to another Inform Analysis. Today I'll be reviewing my first team of the season, League One player, and it's Jeremy Aliadier. You probably guessed that from the picture. In the right hand corner, the former Arsenal man's been on fire for Lorient throughout the season, scoring plenty and plenty of goals. He cost quite a bit for a silver player, 110k on the Xbox 360 and 130 on the PS3. Now if you want to go buy some cheap coins from an online site, head over to Ultimate Team coins.com the link will be in the description below now back to his card he has a freestyle weak foot and freestyle skill moves he's six foot tall which kind of looks like bambi when he's trying to dribble but he's just great he's a great player he's only got 77 dribble in there and 75 shooting but that doesn't tell the whole story the same with his in-game stats it just doesn't show how good this player is now i wanted to see how he'd perform up next to lacazette who in my eyes is the best French silver striker on the game so it'll be interesting to see how them two compare now with him being a team of the season and Lacazette just being a normal silver player. In cam we have Chelsea's on loan Gael Kakuta. I think he's on loan anyways. I didn't think that actually sold him because they actually went to court when they first bought him so it'd be a pretty waste if they do just get rid of him. Yannick Balassi in at left midfield. It'll be interesting to see how he gets on Crystal Palace in the Premier League. We have M. Vuemba in a DM. The former Portsmouth man is just amazing to see all these former Portsmouth players on the game. You look at Sully Montari, Kevin Prince Boateng, and they'll be playing in League Two, the fourth tier of English football next year, which is just heartbreaking really for their fans. After seeing them in Europe against Milan, it's just a shocking, shocking story. We have Obertan at right midfield. He's not in the formation and he's not in the proper position simply because he's a crap player. All he can do is run and that is it. He should be a sprinter. He shouldn't be a footballer. Look how constipated him Titi looks in that photo. Right back, we have Mendy Mayokulo in at centre-back and we do have him Titi, as I just said just before. And we have a left-back that I've just missed his name. I think he's called Marvajal or something like that. And finally, that goalkeeper is brilliant. <laughs> I forgot his name yet again but anyways back to Ali Adier who I am here for and here are his in-game stats nothing stands out at all there apart from the finishing ball control 77 that's a complete lie he's just so good with the ball at his feet honestly you'll see in the gameplay how many good goals he gets how many good dribbles he gets in he's just a fantastic player he's got medium attack work rate and defense work rate and that is just it works really well his acceleration is 94 so when he gets on the ball he just the first touch, he's away. He's away from the defender. His acceleration helps him massively. This is the first game then. Yannick Balassi, and this is just a simple tap in, but he gets in those positions where you can find him, where he can find the net. He's just a great all-round player. And I definitely recommend you go buy this guy. Look at this time. I'm 4-1 down, and he just brings me back in the game. That is just a fantastic goal. Step over, passes the defender, and then... A rifle shot into the far corner. This time he lets it go through his legs and he just smashes it in the bottom corner. So you're kind of seeing all types of different goals in this game. And you'll see a different goal for the next one as well as it's picked up on the right-hand side by Kakuta. And what a ball and what a header. Just pulling off his man, getting in front of him, which he's great at doing in the penalty box. He's just an all-round poacher. You can pick it up from deep like he does here. Just play... And he's on to the goalkeeper. He says he's ball control 77. I don't think so. That's close control. It's a lovely little drag back or ball roll, whatever you want to call it. And he pulls me right back and wins this game. I was 4-1 down. I win it 5-4. Ali Adier with all five goals. And in the next game, and he just gets better. Look at this ball control. Passes one, passes two. And just on a plate for Lacazette to score from six yards out. He's just a great player. And I just don't understand why his card stats are so bad. Because he's just brilliant i can't say enough about this guy just look at that as he got in front of his defender and just glanced the header across the keeper his pen stats aren't the best only 71 but i put him on it and i just put it straight down the center and again he wins me yet another game so that's another win and he just gets better and better this time look at this effort off the crossbar it's a great effort this guy actually had his connect on he thought i was cheating in this game i don't know how he went in the game with no stamina whatsoever look at this step over passes another one bottom corner yet again just so good at finishing so good at his pace there are all these good points his pace his positioning finishing long shots and ball control which in my eyes is definitely better than it suggests in the in-game stats again that's another great goal now the only bad points possibly his price because he is a silver and that's quite a a lot for a silver considering there's like Wallisons on the market and stuff like that but i'd put this guy ahead of Wallison to be honest because 
He finishes, Wally he drops back, he gets in the bad positions, this guy's in the right position every single time, just look at that for the final goal of this episode, and that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, like if you did, sub if you haven't, and as always, I will catch you all next time.